Hey guys and welcome back. And what I have something really cool. So what if your users don't have cell service and you want to give them the option to play around with the different measures. So you take measure one and then you want to add it to another measure and get an output or, you know, minus it or divide it or whatever, multiply it or whatever, right? For whatever your heart's content. So here I have something like this where the user doesn't even need self-service. Instead, all they can do is they have a way to select different measures and a way to choose a different operator in the middle and then you use a third measure so you see here now measure one plus measure two and that gives you a value measure one minus measure two that gives you another value so this is how we do it first things first we're going to start and create a variable or we're actually going to create three variables right so over here first one i'm going to name it as we measure one Let's not give a description now. Let's say, okay, then we're going to create and another one for the operator. So we're going to say V operator. All right. And now we have these three done. Next, we're going to put, we want to give the values for it, right? So how do we do that? As always, we go into custom objects. We go to variable input. We add it here and Let's go inside and over here I'm going to say V measure one and inside I'm going to say drop down, go to values and over here I can give the different values, right? So I'm going to say one of the values is total sales and I'm going to give the name sales. Then the second value I'm going to say another one called last year to date and I'm going to add that value last good and let's add another one just for year to date sales good now we have three different values right we have three different values and this is for measure one so whenever the user actually selects a value here that's applied to be measure one good next i'm just going to copy it paste it because i want the same one for my measure two and all i'm going to do is over here in my second one i'm going to change the variable name to my v measure two perfect so now i have v measure two next i'm gonna create another one let's go here and this is the v operator and here we say nothing but a drop down and the different values are let's say plus label is plus minus label is minus and uh, division so the label is division perfect perfect now we need to apply it to our kpi so let's add a kpi so let's go into kpi here i add it here and then i go into and we say dollar v measure one and then we have v measure two and in the middle we have v operator and that too has to be a dollar expansion. So it is dollar expansion here, right? So I click on apply. It's a dash. Let's add total sales here. Now you see this. Now I add and I add total sales. So now we have in measure one, we have taken the total sales. We have added an operator here. And then I have a third item. Now what the user can do is what if measure one minus measure two so you can say last year to date current year to date minus the last year to date current year to date last year to date year to date is 1.01 .01 million what if i divide it so it's 0 0.78 so i'm getting the percentage so you know what i mean so you can actually you can actually give this dynamic way of changing measures to the user interesting right yeah this was just a problem to be solved and uh, I thought it might actually help a lot of people. Really cool. I'll have this template and the previous video where we looked at something really cool there. Check it out if you haven't. I'll have that as template so you can download it for free. A really cool visualization course is out very soon. Working on it. And if, you, if you'd like to see something there, please leave a comment below. And um, please leave a like. Super appreciate it. See you in the next one.